What is up, everybody? It is Tragic MTG here, and I got my buddy Neff, who goes by Nefarioso. What's uh, up? The real ne the Neff is real, I think, right? Yes, sir. So uh, we have decided we're going to play some Commander here. Um, we're some sad sacks that just have two of us to play right now, but we're going to bust open these uh, Crimson Vow and Innistrad at Midnight Hunt Commander uh, pre-cons, and I thought we could soup them up with a couple of uh, pre-release packs. Um, so we're going to open those up right now. And see if we got anything good to add to our pre-con decks. Here's yeah, a cut, cut. Go ahead, cut yours. Innistrad Midnight Hunt. Uh, I've got the uh, the humans deck here, so I'll be looking for any good humans. I got zombies and vampires, so I'm looking got for dirt and blood. Dirt and blood. I got spirits over here, so I've got uh, blood and uh, ectoplasm that I'll be looking for. So. Midnight Hunt. Got the uh, spin down dice. Cool logo. I'll be using that. Uh, I got the green. A promo Bloodline Culling. Let's see what else do we get in here. That's that's on my pre release card apparently. It's got the logo a little bit different there. And then the day and night. And is that what some is that what in here is? Yeah, I believe so. It's your, I got it's your a free release. Champion of the Parish. That's what I would have probably liked to get. It's a great card. <laughs> and, uh, well, there's an arena code that I didn't cover up, so you guys can have it. Um, yeah, Ooh, well, another one that was not covered up. Right. Double bonus. Go for it. Let, let us know. What do you guys get in your arena Sick codes? Sick pulls here? to everyone. All right. Draft booster number one here. Rotten Reunion. It's actually a good limited card. Disagree down below if you want. <laughs> yeah. uh, Feel the Ruin, you know? You definitely don't. use those. Mentor, Mystic Skull, Storm the Festival. It's decent. And I'm loving these uh, full art um, creepy islands, basic lands. Cool. So, uh, Olivia's Midnight Ambush, Howl of the Hunt, Celeste's Sanctifier, Component Collector. Crawfman Cellar, not too bad. Some recursion for you guys out there. And Duel of Dominus, Arden Elementalist, uh, Rejuvenator, Gavany Silversmith, Gale Drifter, uh, Gavany Dawnguard, Got Join nice the Dance, Shady Traveler here, I don't know. Chaplain of Alms, and a Hallowed Respite, and a All Full Art. Ooh, okay. We got a uh, Alternate Art Full Art Land. Excellent. A foul play that'll come in handy. Covert cut person. A pithing needle. Unfortunately, you're probably not going to do much in uh, these these decks. Um, did you guys notice that I'm already uh, unorganized? Got a full moon silver key. All right, let's. Uh, the spirit token. I'll probably use that at least. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, some lands. Dissipate, Midnight Ambush, Broodweaver, Rite of Oblivion, Malevolent Hermit. It's a good one. Yep. That would uh, go in my deck, in fact, probably. A, another alternate art island and a Lord of the Forsaken foil. Ooh. Not bad, not bad. There's a Ludwig Necrogenius. Oh, nice. Excellent. Hang on to that. Zombie card. Is it a zombie card? Yes, it's a zombie card for sure. All right. This is what I'm going to use for the deck. One. Dual for dominance and a step there. Uh, duress for all you people who like to look at everyone else's stuff. Yeah, how rude. Townheart Wardens. Got Coven. Might come in handy. Curse of Surveillance. Okay, here's a uh, pretty decent. Full art, alt art, harvest harvest tide infiltrator. It's a common. Nice. That's nice. kind of cool. Arcane infusion, thermal alchemist, covetous castaway. Oh, okay, we got a sick pull. 
Yeah, how sick is it? We got an Alt Art Sigarda, Champion of the Light. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I do like the Alt Arts on these. Yeah, dude, it was a sick one. Damn, that swamp is so cool. Burn the Accursed Foil. That's it. Primal Adversary. We got a Mythic here. Got a. What would you call these? Bonus. They're kicker. It's a kicker adversary. Everything's kicker, right? Yeah. Did you pay your kicker cost? <laughs> it's a little different. That's all. All right, last pack here. I don't know if that's gonna help me much for my deck, but we have fun opening packs as usual. Right. And we got another one. Did you hear the Crimson Vows as well? Good old vampire interloper for a lot of you aristocrats players, Absolutely. commander yeah. people, the staple kind of. Diagraph, rebirth, party girl, Misa. Adeline, Resplendent Cathar, that's definitely one I will be using in my humans deck. Vigilance, powers evil and over creature you control. Whenever you attack, you put a 1 2 in creature token into play. This tapped in attacking. It's Keeper. Yeah, it's Keeper. Fading Hope, Dawnheart Wardens, Kessig Naturalist. Oh, uh, that's a good card. Ooh, we got a uh, Florian Voldaren Sky Scion. Yeah, you probably nice. want that for your vampire deck. Yep. 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 All right. A cool human token. Oh, yeah, he's got a pumpkin head. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I'm super sorry. All right, uh, got, got to catch up here. I'll clean up over here. Sorry, folks. I look at every card, even though I've seen it a million times. I guess the first time I've seen it. When you get to pro level YouTuber status, you know to just move things on at a clip. But uh, we got a Necrosynthesis, great card. Uh, Dryad's Rival, Flame, Fangblade Brigand, Patrician Geist. Okay, Spirit Knight. That's kind of cool in blue. One more. Here we go. Let's get a sick pull. I just noticed these are draft boosters. Yeah, definitely for a, a pre-release, you would use a draft of, well, you do a limited sealed deck, right? Right. It does get confusing with I wonder set what, boosters and collector boosters. I wonder nowadays. what, like, uh, Wizards is, like, how they, like, what's their formula for, like, okay, draft booster, we're going to put these specific commons... Cause like I mean, yeah. your draft booster looks just like a set booster. Yeah, yeah, it does have to be formulated so that you can, especially in draft, like you, you pass it around so that there would be enough cards you know, of the particular strategies to fill in, e even among three packs. Yeah. So there's got to be some kind of algorithm that they use um, to try to make that um, you know feasible. I imagine a lot of limited players would disagree that they. Never get any good cards in their right. packs. I don't know. Got a Loyal Griff, a Diagraph Rebirth, Flame Channeler, Chandra player. Oh, Mask of Grizzlebrand. There's a nice pull. Nice. That's a good one. All right. All right, great. All right, let's do this Crimson Vow pack. Crimson Vow pack. I got dude, double green on my guys. I got double black. Isn't that odd? Yeah. Got, got the Dollhouse of Horrors. That's pretty nice. I got... Let's see what's in it. Hold Investigator's on. Journal. Oh, yeah, just the tokens. I don't know what I was thinking, but I'll keep that. <laughs> uh, here's another promo code. Go for it. And another promo code. Cool bat. Divider. All right, here we go. Looking for some vampires. So, and I actually uh, don't know Crimson Vow like the back of my hand yet. So, I'm going to kind of... Do you even play Magic, dude? <laughs> what is this game? Oh, this is Yu-Gi-Oh. Big Yu-Gi-Oh guy. Blood Hypnotist. Right. Into the Night. Storm Chaser Drake and Dorothea Vengeful Victim. Perfect. It man, whenever it attacks or blocks, it sacrifices at the end of combat. Woo. Well, it, it is a flying 4-4. Four -four. For a white and a blue, so that's not so bad. Then you can uh, disturb it back and, and make it into an enchantment that is basically a guess to see a trap. So that's not bad. I I, I'm, I like that kind of card. Yeah. Most people would probably say, oh, it's like too much stuff to do, right? To make right. it happen. 
I'm going to try to make it happen. Circle confinement, wedding security, four wedding security. Foreboding statue, Stintia. Oh, foil, full art swamp. Nice. Bonus. Got two lands out of that pack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the double land pack. You know, it's a dream. A lot of you, uh, Newer magic people might not know this, but back in the day, booster packs weren't 15 cards and common lands came in. Right, yeah, exactly. Talk about being upset when you got four lands in a pack. I think up until revised, yeah, it was you could easily get like four or five basic lands in your pack because you needed them. Yeah. Because there wasn't really much other way to get them, apparently. You got a Torrent's Fist of the Angel, the human cleric. Mm -hmm. Training. All right. Okay. Day and night. Got a full art blood type harvester. That's sick. That's a vampire. Witness the future. Infestation expert. Oh, I need this for something else. Oh, yeah. We're going <laughs> to hold that on us here, huh? Uh, Hollow yeah. haunting. You know, all these, like, there's no werewolf commander deck, so any werewolf card can just get set aside pretty much, right? Green spirit blood type harvester. Panic by Sandra. Hey, Olivia, Crimson Bride. Oh, what do you want to trade me for that? Yeah, we'll, we'll do some trading after this, probably. But that's keeper. Yeah, that's a keeper right there, and, it's a, and it's a zombie token. Very nice. Oops, my lance here. I want to use that. Cool. Another circle of confinement. Nice bramble worm. Innocent traveler. Okay, that's a nice card. Helena and Elena partners. Oh, yeah. Full art. That's a nice. That's actually. A Pretty dang good card right there. Dang. Damn. I love these alternate like, know, they, comic style. Yeah, absolutely. Art. These are like total 50s, like horror comic book. Yeah. Bramble Worm. Witness the future. I got another legendary. Griffwing Cavalry. Runo Stronker. This is a weird card. I can't, I don't, I can't think of a use for it in here, but it's, uh, you can like yeah. transform it and it becomes a like a Kraken Leviathan uh, Octopus Lord. Okay, that's it. <laughs> it's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, I probably won't be using that one for this. Okay, we got a uh, Edgar's Awakening, Fell Stinger. That's a zombie scorpion. Great zombie tribe card, actually. Heck yeah. So let's put that child of the pack. Another good roll. Splendid Reclamation. And sick ass swamp. Man. Blood Fountain. Splendid Reclamation. What does that do? Splinter recommend return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield tap. Ah, it's an escape shift, basically. Then, huh? I can't remember the last time I played against anyone that milled my that destroyed my lands. I haven't played. Them. I mean, so, I know there's a ton of decks out there. I just I don't yeah. see it in, in, in standard right now. Field of Ruin is what you use to kill someone's like Hall of the Storm Giant or okay. their um, you know another man land. Well, they're in a state, so this is the Castle Dracula. Basically, it cares about blood tokens, and it cares about vampires, so. Running Comer, it's a spirit. Yeah, let's go with that one, too. Got a Whispering Wizard, Witness the Future, Oakshade Stalker, Dominating Vampire, Cool Island, and a Foil Innocent Traveler, Second Innocent Traveler. Nice. Last pack. Last pack, and we'll... Uh, See what we got here. Crab horror. That sounds like a problem. Nightmare. You don't want the crab horror, that's for sure. Lunar rejection into the night. Foreboding statue. Man, I did good on the mythics or the uh, legendaries at least. I got Anji, Maid of Dishonor. Man, got all the. Uh... Oops, notification time. Fleeting spirit. We got another blood type harvester. Oh, right. Different art from the other one. Foreboding statue, Stantia uprising. Dang, that was like the same pack that we got earlier. Oh, uh, gotcha. All right, well that's it, and now we get to play, but we're probably just gonna do that for fun. So anyway, Tragic MDG, busting some packs for fun. Hope you guys have a good one. Catch you later.